How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys another tips and tricks tutorial video for Animal Crossing New Horizons on Nintendo Switch. Today's video is showcasing all of the 12 different Zodiac items within the game and teaching you guys everything you need to know about them. So thanks so much for watching. As you guys can see, we've got tons of different Animal Crossing tips and tricks tutorial videos on my YouTube channel page. So I'd love it if you guys would come on over and subscribe. It's super easy. It only takes one click in order to do so. So if you guys did not already see the Star Fragments video, that is going to be a big basis as to what this builds off of. So think of that as part one. So make sure you guys watch that. And then of course, subscribe while you're at it. We're at 680,000. We need a couple more to get 700. Let's make it count with your help. All right. So, uh, obligatory balloon photobomb in every single one of my tutorials, I swear it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go ahead and map out how this video is going to play out. Here's what I'm going to teach you guys. Six different things. Now, the first thing is we're going to teach you guys a really quick summary of how to get shooting stars and zodiac fragments, which is covered in our previous video. So that's number one. Number two, we're going to show you guys how to get all these specific zodiac DIY recipes in the game. Number three is going to be showing, showing you exactly which of the items are what. So a little showcase right behind here. Number four, we're going to give you guys a actual screenshot of each of the Zodiac DIY crafting table recipes so you guys know exactly how to craft them and or how many gold nuggets and or star pieces you're going to need to save up for each of these items. Number five, there's going to be a little secret Easter egg with Celeste over here. And yes, I know what you're thinking. I trapped her in there, but she's an owl and she can fly over those little spots if she really wanted to. Don't even worry about it. Anyway, and last but not least, we're going to give you guys a full-on showcase of all of these items within my room so that you guys can get some uh, furniture ideas, right? So from the top, if you guys have not already seen the Shooting Star tutorial with the Star Fragments, make sure you guys go check that out. But the long and short of it is hold up on the uh, control stick over here and pay attention to the sky. If you see a shooting star, then press the A button and wish upon it. The next day, you'll be able to potentially get one of these pieces. That's exactly how you're going to get shooting stars and how you're going to get all of these different Zodiac fragments. Now, you guys may be wondering, hey, how do I get the DIY recipes for all of these items. And that's where Celeste comes in. Now Celeste is going to be randomly showing up in your town after I believe 8 p.m. I would say go 9 p.m. just to be on the safe side. But Celeste is on board and she'll be just wandering around. And the reason why I kind of put her over here is because she walks around too far and I don't wanna go track her down for the tutorial. So anyway, we've got her over here and I'm gonna show you guys what happens when you talk to her. So we're gonna jump on in. We're gonna jump on in. Oh my gosh, do I have to? Come on, guy. There you go. Jump on in. Hey, buddy. So, good evening. Uh, have you been admiring the size? So many uh, shooting stars. Care to watch nature's performance? Okay. So, whenever you see her for the very first time in a day, she's going to give you a specific DIY recipe. Now, I'll show you guys which one I get because it's going to be random at first. So, this DIY is going to be a crude spaceship. Now, that's cool and everything, but the thing about her is that she's not going to 100% give you the specific Zodiac DIY based off of your month. She's not going to do it 100% of the time. So you're really going to need to have to grind out all of your different um, space items from her in order to potentially get the fragment based off of what month you're in, if that makes sense. So for example, today on the 10th of April, for example, the 10th of April lands in the Aries area. So that means I have until April 19th to continuously find Celeste and get her to give me that Aries rocking chair recipe. Now, I can't confirm if you can get other recipes based off of different months that you're in within different months, but either way, that's exactly how you're going to get them, is talking to Celeste and then having that off chance that she gives you that specific recipe for that specific Zodiac calendar month. Makes sense. Okay, so now we're gonna go through, I'm gonna give you guys a, a quick rundown of what these items are. So uh, as you guys can see over here, this is the very cool looking Pisces lamp and the Pisces fragment right underneath it. Pisces is from February 19th to March 20th. Now next up is the Aries rocking chair and the Aries fragment right underneath it. That is going to be March 21st through April 19th. This is a Taurus bathtub, very nice, April 20th 
through May 20th. I don't think you could jump inside it, but still looks great. All right, next up is going to be the Gemini Closet from May 21st through June 20th. You guys can see the fragment right in front. And next up is going to be the Cancer Table. I love the Cancer Table, by the way. Looks very awesome. And you can't have enough tables in your house. So uh, Cancer Table, June 21st through July 22nd. Next up is a Leo Sculpture. Can't show it to you guys on the outside because it's a wall-mounted item, but nonetheless, stay tuned to the very end of the video. All uh, right over here, Leo is from July 23rd through August 22nd. Next is going to be the Virgo Harp, August 23rd through September 22nd. This uh, right over here is going to be the Libra Scale from September 23rd to October 22nd. Right here is going to be the Scorpio Lamp, October 23rd through November 21st. Next up is the Sagittarius Arrow, which is going to be a wall-mounted item. From November 22nd through December 21st, we have the Capricorn Ornament on board, which is December 22nd through January 19th. And, of course, the Aquarius Urn from January 20th through February 18th. So, I pretty much made it in order of natural, traditional Animal Crossing play. This is the very first thing that you could have gotten on day one, and then, of course, the upcoming months are going to be these guys right over here. Okay, so now that we've shown you all of the items within the game, we're going to collect every single one of these fragments, and I'm going to show you a little something about Celeste, that uh, is actually really, really cool. And I love this little Easter egg. So you guys know that Celeste and Blathers are related. So if you come over here and talk to Celeste, come on, get in there. There we go. If you talk to Celeste, while you're holding on to one of these Zodiac items, you can get a little bit of information based off of it. So anyway, here's the Pisces fragment. That's gonna be a first in line. And uh, now she's gonna tell you a little bit about it. And it's actually based off of the actual Zodiac. So here we go. Many tales and stories about Pisces is my favorite a long ago and far away. The gods were enjoying a fantastical banquet by a river when a terrible monster typhoon appeared. As the gods ran, Aphrodite tied herself to her son Eros with a rope so that they wouldn't be separated. They then turned into a fish and fled, which is why Pisces is often depicted as two fish connected by a rope. While I enjoy that story, it does leave unexplored one detail about which I'm terribly curious. How did the vain Aphrodite react on finding out that her constellation would portray her as a fish? Oh, please pardon me. See, that's kind of cool, right? All right, anyway. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go through and we are going to show you guys every single one of the 12 um, text boxes that Celeste has. And you guys can enjoy the little stories on board. And then after that, we're going to give you guys a tour of my town and my room that has everything all set up for you. Enjoy.
All right, here we go, ladies and gents. The grand unveiling of every single one of the 12 horoscope zodiac items within one place. How cool does this look? Oh man, let me tell you, some of these items are really awesome simply because not only do they have the shape of their prospective zodiacs, but they're all laced in gold. Oh my gosh, you guys know me from Animal Crossing New Leaf, man. I love all the gold items. So you can see that there's a lot of detail. You can see that there's a constellation right over here in the Gemini closet. Uh, the, the little lamp looks awesome. I love this. I think my favorite item is definitely going to be the table. I think the table looks amazing with that crab on there. And this little double fish light looks really great too. So I love it. And remember on the outside, I was able to show you that the Leo, uh, the Leo little statue over here. Let me see if I can kind of zoom in over here. Yeah, the Leo statue looks really awesome. So hold on, let me rotate there. Yeah, that looks super cool. And then that Sagittarius bow also looks really great. So those are gonna be wall mount only. But other than that, everything looks great. And you could even play a song on this harp. How cool is that? All right, guys, that is it for all of the items within the Zodiac calendar. I love it. I hope you guys like it too. The rocking chair is also really cool. So you can kind of rock that. All right, I want to give huge shout outs to my friends Katie, Aiden, and of course, Little Carrot for helping procure all of these items and the recipes all throughout the year. So yeah, huge shout outs to them, huge shout outs to you guys uh, for subscribing and of course joining the Discord. So if you guys are looking for a cool place to trade some shards or if you need that last Capricorn shard or whatever, definitely take a look at Discord, discord.gg slash Abdallah. But that's it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Now you have something more to look forward to every single night when you guys are aiming for those shooting stars. Make sure you guys are all subscribed, turn on your notifications, and of course, consider becoming a member just like Selma right over here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.